Hello and welcome to a very special edition of the Movie Podcast. My name is Daniel and joining me today are the super heavyweight champions themselves. Do you guys want to be super heavyweight champions? I feel like you're talking about my weight now and I don't like well, there it. There can only be one super weight, super heavyweight. Super weight. Well, I mean, then, we could all share the belts. We could all carry the belts together. Yeah. We can't. Well, well, we, we, we could be like the, the, the trio. Make, Aren't, uh, isn't there like a wrestling trio? Yeah. We'll, okay. we'll walk, Boxing so, so, or wrestling? Okay. Yeah. That's so, tag team. So what, this is what we'll do. <laughs> this is what we'll do. We'll walk out of the gate. Anthony will be the super heavyweight wrestler. Hey, Anthony. Thank you. Welcome to the movie podcast today. And, hello. And Shabazz. Yeah. Hello. Hi. We'll, and I, Daniel, hello, uh, will be walking behind you holding your belt up. And oh, then you're going to have to fight. My entourage. We're your entourage. But you're going to have to fight. Mike Tyson. Okay, but okay. That first of all, that sounds crazy, but I love it. What if we all three of us just punch the guy? You know, we all took turns. So one we punch. all is it a tag team match? It's kind of a tag team, but we all are acapella ish. I feel like that's it. just like like a, a gang. gang. That, a gang we're just beating somebody up. That, that sounds uh, like it's not the rules of boxing. Yeah, you know, I feel like zero. they're kicking us out of the ring too. They're like, guys, only one up there. Oh, <laughs> only one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> So is it Orc the one that's, that's hosting Orc this is fight? the ref? What is Orc we, the ref? We are clearly in a Lord of the Rings brain. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the movie podcast. We love that you're here. Today is a very special edition of the show because we have three incredible guests joining us. Today on the movie podcast, you'll be able to hear us talk to Trevante Rhodes, Laura Harrier, and Russell Hornsby. And of course, they play Mike Tyson, Robin Givens, and Don King uh, in the new Mike series that is going to be on Hulu and on Disney Plus here in Canada starting on on August 25th, you'll be able to watch that. Uh, crazy. I mean, it's, it's, we're so, all, honestly, on their own, we're all such big fans of them. And to have them together on the show, like they were, you know, they were, you know, outnumbering us first and foremost. You know, they were outnumbering us on this episode. They so. were, they were. They, they said, why isn't it three of you? And we're like, well, sorry. Anthony's <laughs> training to fight. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> He's trying to fight a Did chef. Did you see right Trevante now? in the show? He is training to fight him. Um, Shay, how are you doing, though? You know, I'm doing great. Um, feeling happy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I, it sounded so mis, mysterious good. when I said. I, I'm also I, questioning your happiness I'm, a little. Bit. I, I am happy. No, I'm 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 in that like post LA post vacation kind of like withdrawal right now. I feel you. I feel so you. I've been walking around my my area and it's just, just gloomy, just, yeah. and I'm just like, oh, no palm trees here. Yeah, we left the sun in LA because since arriving home last week, oh, I don't no. think I've seen a blue sky once. It has been like Middle Earth here. It has been like Middle Earth. Yeah, Anthony, how are you doing though? You know, every day is the same. <laughs> <laughs> At least mine sounded Such happy. Such a lonely you know? day. Um, and you know, it's just mine. <laughs> you get through it and you go on to the next. That's that's kind of like how I live my life right now. Oh. One day at a time. One, one day, day at a time. time. One day at a time. And one day at a time. And one day very soon, you'll be able to hear all of the incredible interviews that we have from our time in Los Angeles. Uh, I want to say thank you to our friends at Prime Video for you know bringing us along and being able to be part of the in-person junkets which is pretty amazing uh, being able to watch the first you know couple episodes of the lord of the rings the rings of power uh, we're gonna have a review out very very soon you know we dropped an episode on the movie podcast this week on monday where we talk about you know our experience going to la to cover all this but also on that episode and on our socials you'll be able to see our schedule for what is coming down the road so we do have an interview series coming your way uh, it's a three-part interview series where we'll have you know the different cast and creators behind the show with us on the movie podcast talking to them um, and that's all going to start on sunday uh, we'll have a new episode every day leading to wednesday where you'll be able to catch our review of the first two episodes spoiler free of course um on all podcast services and on youtube and if you're watching this make sure you're subscribed to us at the movie podcast on instagram twitter tiktok and letterbox you don't want to miss any of the incredible you know episodes we have coming your way it's a lot of fun how are you doing though i'm doing great you know i think just like you guys i'm just depressed this no, oh good no no i'm happy no i'm doing great honestly we the best part about doing interviews is when you do interviews for a show that's really good and the show that's really good is the one we're talking about today. It's Mike. You know, it does it does make it a lot easier you to know, talk about stuff you like. <laughs> Mike is, you know, it's a fantastic show and it's going to be premiering on Hulu in the States and of course on uh, Disney Plus here in Canada. And I think, you know, you see the cast that you have in the show, you you the story that's behind it. Everybody knows who Mike Tyson is, but now you get to really learn who he is uh, as a person. And I think that's that's really incredible. So you'll, you'll be able to get to see that this week, uh, August 25th on Hulu and on Disney Plus Canada. I don't know if you guys 
do this or not but a lot of times i'll go on youtube and i'll put in mike tyson knockouts and i will go and i think i did it here you did it at my house i did it at my house so my youtube feed for the next couple weeks still to this day i'll get like random mike tyson videos (laughs) yeah because his knockouts are phenomenal and they're really quick and it's just like one of those ding the bell and it's over within 20 seconds the guy's down so i always watch mike tyson knockouts um you know mike tyson is a unique person he's he has like this roller coaster life he's done bad things he's done good things he's done amazing like he's just everywhere um so watching the show and kind of like learning a little bit more about him and even like just i guess being a fan of mike tyson is just it was such a well done um series that i wish i there was so much more i think we talked about in our last episode it being i wanted more Mm -hmm. time with this character more 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 but it's amazing that we were able to connect with the um the characters and the artists and the, everyone who was part of this this series definitely so you'll be able to catch a series like we said on august 25th on disney plus here in canada and on hulu you'll be able to watch it there as well too um, it's an eight episode series and it's an unauthorized and no holds barred look at the life of mike tyson and i want to say as always thank you to our friends at disney studios canada for connecting us with the team behind this show um we had a really great conversation with them so without further ado Please welcome Trevante Rhodes, Laura Harrier, and Russell Hornsby to the movie podcast. Hello, everyone. My name is Daniel. And I'm Shabazz. How are you guys doing? Oh, God. well, gents. Good, thank you. That's good. That's good. Trevante, Laura, Russell, thank you so much for your time today and hanging out with us on the movie podcast. We're such big fans of yours. And, of course, you are all fantastic in the series. So, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, for all of you, you know, Mike Tyson, Robin Givens, and Don King are all such well-known public figures. Is that helpful for you as actors when you're figuring out how you want to play them? Or is there ever a fear in playing a real person? No, uh, for me, man, I, uh, it's all the same. You know, it's really just uh, creating a, a feeling, creating a, a painting, and then trying to be present and uh, create some beautiful moments. Definitely. While being, yeah. That's awesome. Now, Trevante, you're you're so phenomenal in this show and, and everything you've done so far. Now, what did the training look like when you're preparing for a role with such physicality as Mike Tyson? I appreciate that, man. Uh, you know, a lot of working out, man. A lot of uh, lifting weights. A lot of boxing with my with my boxing coach. Uh, we did a, a full camp, three months, wow. uh, and then a little bit throughout. Uh, it was fun, man. It's you know. Coming from an athletic background my whole life, it just felt uh, it felt like what I was supposed to be doing. That's what. What about the voice? Did you do anything specific to find the voice? Uh, no. When I got the uh, notification, man, I was at my dog, at my assistant, uh, and uh, I kind of just did it under my breath, and he, you know, he gave me a little, little nod. He was like, "Well, that was, and I was like, yes, that's it, man." So that was that was what you heard. That's perfect. Wow. Javante, did you have a preference of like the, what age you liked playing Tyson at? Because we get to see him over a few different, you know, you know, ages in the series. Did you like playing like you know the Tyson on stage, kind of talking to the audience, or did you prefer being in the boxing ring? A good question, bro. My favorite. Uh, nobody's asked this question. Uh, my favorite was you know this thirty, you know, his uh, the, the 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 early thirties because that's when he was, I guess, when he just got out of prison. Right. It was uh. That energy was, uh, that's how I feel right now. So that energy, it was just so awesome to to be in that space. And I look so good, you know what I mean? And that's in that, I just, you know what I mean? It just felt good. I didn't want to have a bar. I ain't had a bar cap and I didn't have to look like a little kid. I had a little, a little you know, a little, a little facial hair. I look like myself, so it was, it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome uh, Laura for yourself I just rewatched Black Klansman last night and you're so damn good in that film um, oh, thanks. and I just I'm just curious for you you know is there something that you learned uh, about Robin while doing your research for this role that you didn't know or that really surprised you about who she was as a person um you know, I didn't really know a lot about her, to be honest like I knew of her I knew she was an actress I knew she was married to Mike Tyson but like I, you know, I wasn't uh, born yet when they were married and I didn't right. really know like the, all of the public discourse about her. Um, so I was kind of just coming into it like with a fresh set of eyes, just trying to play this woman and play this character and hopefully bring some authenticity and truth to it. Um, obviously, you know, I think there's a challenge when you're playing someone who's so 
like publicly villainized and always seen as like the bad girl or the gold digger or whatever. So I just wanted to kind of um, make her feel real. And if in some way relatable, I just tried to relate to her as a person and then like go from there as an actor. Yeah, no, and and that definitely does come across on screen. So fantastic. Thanks. Thank you. Now, Russell, um, Danny and I grew up watching you on Big Fat Liar all the time, and it's one of our favorite movies. And it, it's such a treat to be finally talking to you today. I had to ask, big pivot though, with Don King, he's such a controversial figure. You know, did you find any respect for him when you were seeing how he conducts his business and learning about his character? Oh, uh, wow, that's a fantastic question. Um, I have a lot of respect for Don King. You know, I, I, I've been saying in a lot of these interviews, and it, it, it became very apparent to me. That, uh, you know, Don King makes, you know, statement only in America. Well, he's saying only America because he was made by America. So Mm -hmm. I have a lot of respect for uh, how he became, he was a self-made man. He was an entrepreneur. um, And he found a way to beat the system, if you will, you know, and, and for, you know, a black man of that time, um, his ability to do that is something that I think I have, you have to have a lot of respect for. And I just, I tip my cap to him, the, you know, all the, that, you know, all the other stuff or claims, notwithstanding, I, I have to start by just giving respect to what, how, what he was able to accomplish and how he right. persevered. And, um, you know, and, and, and almost, you know, what do they say? Beat the man at his own game, if you will. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, you, you obviously, you, you got to spend a lot of time with Trevante on set. What was that like, you know, figuring out who these characters were together, like in, in the room together and, you know, recreating, you know, some of these most iconic moments of all time in sports together? You, you know, I think the, um, the most uh, rewarding and refreshing aspect of, you know, working with Trevante and working on these characters was that he was as serious, as prepared, as ready, uh, had done as much, you know, the research, everything as, as I had done. So when you, when you when you see that and you're witnessing that you can, you know, then you're now we're as actors, as performers, we're able to have fun. You look right. opposite the person opposite you and you say, and I think we said this, we're, we're both sort of saying that we're ready. And, and so when someone shows up ready, you're able to have fun. And that for me, is and was the joy of working on this project, being able to sort of metaphorically take our gloves off right. and go bare knuckle, you know, and uh, and and just and and get down and have some fun. Yeah, it feels it feels so authentic, and I think that's the thing that you know Shay and I kept saying when we were watching the show is that this just feels just so true to its time, but also just to like, to who these characters are. And obviously, you know, you get to take a lot of different liberties with, you know, events and, you know, in telling the story for the show, but there's just such like a natural, like just like a feeling when you're watching this and you mm-hmm. just get so lost in your, in all of your performances, which is incredible. Appreciate that. Thank you. Now, whenever, you know, you're working on a character like this, there's so much that you bring of yourself into the character I have to ask for all of you, is there something that you've learned from your character that you played that you now apply in your own life? Mm. <laughs> it's okay. You, you, like, you know, I, I know how to box really well now. <laughs> Dig it. That's, I'm going to go with that. that. <laughs> Gave him his answer, Damn man. It. <laughs> um, I feel like I learned to be more unapologetic in life. Um. I loved sort of embracing that just like going exactly for what you want and really sort of like living your biggest life possible. Um, And I've tried to take more of that with me. That's awesome. Love that. You know, actually for me, it was the inverse. It was more about who I was that I brought to Don, I think. Um, And, you know, it it is Don's his, his being comfortable being in front of people, being the the pre- the presenter, the carnival barker, right? Um, you know that for me, you know, Russell being a theatrical, being a person who's been on stage, doing all those kinds of things, I'm I'm comfortable being in front, if you will, you know, being presentational and uh, uh, being theatrical, and so that that part of my personality 
was something that I brought to Don um, that I had a lot of joy sort of bringing to life. Fantastic. Uh, hey, all of you, the three of you, thank you so much for your time. And just really quickly before we wrap up, Trevante, I just want to know, are you, are you ready for the title belt now? Like, are, do you think you go a few rounds with Tyson now or how are you feeling? I honestly, bro, I can't wait. <laughs> I honestly, I, at least to train with him. I really, I really hope that, you know, he, he, he checks out the show. He loves it. And he wants to, to get in there and do a couple rounds for sure. I love it. Amazing. I love it. Uh, Laura Trevante, uh, Russell, thank you all so much for your time again. All the best with the release of this series, and we can't wait to see what you guys work on next. Thank you. Take thank care, you guys. Thank you so much. Ring the bell. The interview is done. <laughs> we went. We just went twelve rounds with uh, you know the cast behind Mike. How are you guys feeling? I'm surprised right they now? didn't knock us out. Yeah, it's true. They were very close, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, when, I, close. when I brought up uh, Big Fat Liar to Russell, um, I hope he was like. I'm glad they remember that movie. <laughs> I wonder if he was just like, what movie? Was I, that? <laughs> why are they bringing a big fat liar right now? We're talking about Mike Tyson. <laughs> Dude, it, that was such a reach, I guess, in his eyes, but I think he was really appreciated. I think so too. I yeah. think, I, I think anytime, you know, you throw out that obscure movie that an actor has done, they're always like, wow, like that. They really actually like my work. Yeah, and, no, you know, he's great. We do. We love, I love him. He is. Man. And he's, he's, he's obviously, he's great in big fat liar. He's great in the hate you give. He's, he's had such incredible roles as has Tremonte Rose, as has uh, Laura Harrier. Harrier. Like, who's amazing i mean we got to talk a little bit about black klansman and then obviously she's in the spider-man films with tom holland like she is so good um and it's so cool you know getting to hear you know just their take on you know who these characters are right this is uh we know this is a series that you know is unauthorized and it's kind of it's doing its own thing and you know it's taking liberties here and there but i think what it does great is that it gets the 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 nature behind the the people who it's inspired by obviously right um and this is from the team that has brought us like i Tanya, cruella like craig gillespie and uh, steven rogers who are behind and margot robbie's a producer and too. margot robbie's a producer too yeah. which is uh mm-hmm. which is awesome to see anthony how are you feeling uh you know post interview now you know you were you were in you're producing this interview but you gotta well, do it like a like, like a post fight interview yeah right post now. fight interview oh you know, man, I, I, I'm I just spot, man. Yeah, you're, anthony's sweating right I'm now sweating right now uh no like truthfully <laughs> the the insight we got about each character and what they brought to the table was really really cool um especially with don king and like learning about at that time he believed he was what america he america made him yeah america built what he what he represented and portrayed and emitted out of his his uh voice and body was america so it's it's a a lot of like those little things and it, it it's also nostalgic too because it's Tyson was like that 90s boxer. 90s icon, right? 80, the late 80s, but really that 90s. And he, he really cemented himself in my my childhood yeah. and just wanting to box and, and Mike Tyson's being a punch monster, out, you know? being uh, like a, a a creature that can like destroy anything. And that's what C- Custom Auto says in the in the show. Um, but it's so it's so interesting to to hear where these actors and actresses go and which road they take to get that that character learning yeah. about the training learning about uh, uh laura not being alive when robin was you know married to him right that's like li- those insights little things like i didn't know who she was i had to go figure out who she was i had to go find out who she yeah. was because i never grew up with her even though like it's surprising in my head that you wouldn't know who Robin Givens is, but yeah, little but, things like but, that. But there are generational things, and I think that's what's so important about shows like this. You know, we said this on the show when we were talking about it as well, is that this is a show that you're going to watch it, and then you're going to immediately go Google search. You're going to yes. go look up. You want to yeah. learn the history behind it to see, did this happen this way, or what liberties did they take? You know, we knew um, from that interview, that CP24 <laughs> in Toronto interview, yeah. yeah, you know, you're taking liberties, but the spirit of it is there that's what's yeah. important right yeah it, it was exactly like what you guys said here like i had my phone out in my right hand the whole time just like when something would happen i'm like okay without spoilers let me look up as much as i can about what's happening here because not everything i know obviously about mike tyson i've, I've just seen whatever the, the tv has shown me right and you heard here heard, you heard it here first that trevante would love to go in the ring yeah. with mike tyson <laughs> mike you know we know you're a big listener of the movie podcast <laughs> If you have time to, we'll we'll set it up. We'll be your promoter. <laughs> yes. We'll promote it on the show here. We'll give you a great rate for our ads, and you can punch one of us. 
And, oh no! Oh no! Yeah, come I'll on! I'll take the punch. I'll, I'll take the punch. You, I'll take the Mike Tyson. You punch. might die. I have the most fat in my back. cheeks, so. But you might die. <laughs> still. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't and, matter how much. Anthony should get the punch. No, I said no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's like a yes to everybody else. No, know? I feel because Shay thought of this idea. He gets the punch. All right, fine. I'll get the punch. You get the punch. You're gonna get it in the face though. <laughs> You know what? How about how about this? Right in the back. He can in break. Back. He can break my <laughs> He's spine. He's gonna punch your back. God, <laughs> that's awful. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Listen, Mike. You know we'll work out the details. So if you're if you are listening, please we'll 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 figure it out. So don't worry. Um, thank you so much again for listening to our interview with the cast of Mike. Uh, don't forget you could catch it on Disney Plus here in Canada on August 25th and on Hulu in the United States. Uh, look forward. We have lots of amazing episodes coming your way. Starting on Sunday, we have our The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power interview series. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, a brand new episode every single day in your podcast app of choice and on YouTube. So make sure you tune in for that. And it all leads to the big review on Wednesday at 10 a.m. So there's lots to look forward to. Make sure you tune in here on the movie podcast. And as always, you can catch a brand new episode every single Monday and watch out throughout the week for all of the incredible episodes that we're dropping. Make sure you're following us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Letterboxd at the movie podcast. Leave us a review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and join our Discord. You know, once the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power comes out, we're going to have a Discord channel in there that we could talk all about it. So if you are a huge Lord of the Rings fan, you want to join a Discord. We want to keep that conversation going. Make sure you check out our show notes for all of those links and more. That was this time with the movie podcast, and we'll see you next. <laughs> <laughs>